information networks have network externalities, which is very important and very different from the previous analog industrial age. In the industrial age, if you have something like an apple or a car or something really tangible, a product that you can touch, if you have more people using it, everybody gets less. So if two people share an apple, well, if they're fair, everybody gets half an apple. So the more people you have using it, it's the law of scarcity. In the digital age, if you only have one in a network, I mean, who, who you want to call? Like, it's like, honestly. So the more people you have in the network, the more value you get. Now, that is very funny for economists. They still like don't process that a lot. It's the more, more you have, the more value each one gets. And they get exponentially more value. That's called positive network externality. And these are kind of the building blocks we need to understand. Now, combined with this amazing data overflow that we get from the digital footprint that we all leave behind with every digital step, we take and we give it away for free a lot. Now we have our smart homes and yes, your favorite smart speaker is listening to you and they have to listen to you because when you say, I don't know, hey Google or Alexa or Siri or whatever your code word is, I mean, they already have to listen. Otherwise they wouldn't hear when you say that. And then once you awaken them, a colleague of mine here at the university California and Davis has shown that, yes, in the con to the contrary of whatever they say, yeah, they, they listen to you and they use that when you activate it for marketing. That's why these things pop up that you just mentioned in your kitchen yesterday and you have the feeling like, how did I ever, how do I get this ad? Isn't that convenient, <laughs> right? So we leave this digital footprint behind. And once you have this data, you have infinite economies of scale because how do you duplicate it? Well, it's just right mouse button, copy, paste. Also very different. If you want to grow a second apple or you want to build a second car in the agricultural or in the industrial age, you need to really, I mean, there are economies of scale. The more apple trees you plant and the more cars you produce, it gets a little cheap. But in, info, in information, it's like once you have the data, there is no cost to create, right? Mouse button, copy, paste. What cost is that? So there is no variable cost. And we will have to talk about that and really let it sink in. It's very different to do get around in a, in a digital reality. And the same applies to AI. If one self-driving car can drive to avoid an accident, basically, basically all artificial intelligence can do that. Because again, right mouse button, copy, paste. And that's why also AI inevitably will become much better in some things than we are. Because a child, you have to train Again, right? artificial intelligence, just like copy paste, and then the next neural net can do that. Now, once we have these building blocks, then we're going to create innovations with it. We're first going to see like what happened already when you combine them, independent from us creating something. For example, if you just take economies of scale and network externalities, you get these amazingly big monopolies, did I say that, or oligopolies, uh, where you have basically this, this large concentration of ownership because you can create these digital economies of scale, the network externalities make sense that you have huge networks because the bigger they are, the exponentially more value you get out of it. And we need to understand how that came about. It's not because of greed or like, I mean, it's basically, that's how the digital age is structured. So it's important to understand these concepts to understand what's going on in the digital age.